If you're making a game in Godot, and whether you downloaded different assets from a variety of places online, or maybe your art style just isn't on point, a lot of the times the colors in your game just won't line up. I'm going to show you how to fix this with a quick shader, so let's get right into setting this up. Alright, so here I am in a project. This is my kind of main project, which I've been working on for a while. And you can see I have kind of a basic world set up. We're going to add a, basically a screen space shader. And the way we can do this is on my top level node, I'm going to add a canvas layer node. And a canvas layer is essentially going to render an entirely new layer of the application. And in this case, we're going to render it on top of everything else. So as a child of this canvas layer, I'm going to add a basic panel node. And inside of this panel, I'll make sure I go up to the anchors and set it to cover the entire screen. And then inside of the properties of this panel, I'm also going to go to the theme overrides and define a new style box. And this way we have a fully opaque rectangle. And I'm here in post. Apparently I forgot to move my head. So we're going to just move this quick so that you guys can see. We're going to go into the material dropdown of this panel and then just define a new material inside of here. It'll be a shader material. And then we click on this and go to the shader property, which will have a new shader. And I'm just going to save this inside of my shaders folder. And I'm just going to call it a palette limiter shader and just make sure it's a canvas item shader. And then when we load this, we're going to have to click on the script. And I've already pasted in the code here, but I will put a link to the GitHub so you can just copy the code directly. And I won't go over too much on how the script actually works, but essentially what you need to know is we have this palette uh, uniform variable, which is going to be inside of our shader parameters in the bottom right. And basically inside of here, we can assign any texture, which will kind of act as a palette that will limit all the colors inside of this rectangle to the ones in the texture. So I have this palette, which I've downloaded from lowspec.com. I'll leave the link in the description, but they have a lot of great free downloadable palettes on there. But basically I'll just take the texture and drag it into that palette property. And then if we go back into our viewport, you can see that everything that's being covered by our panel is now going to use that specific palette's color. Now I'm just gonna shrink this down just to kind of show you guys, but I can just drag this over any part of my game and it will obviously apply the correct color palette. Now this is obviously really good for like quick uh, game jam games since you can apply different assets kind of like what I said before from different areas, not even art that you've created will have the same color palette and it's a lot easier to just do it globally this way. And also for like a black and white effect, I can see you using this for maybe like if you get hit, um, just a quick like flash effect that goes over the whole screen and you can add like different blending effects, but this is kind of just a really basic shader I thought I would share. And I I figured it would be really helpful. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as it does help the channel out a ton. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, you can just go ahead and check out the links that should be in the description of the video. And you can also join the Discord server if you want to discuss any game development related topics. And just a quick sneak peek, I do have a pathfinding tutorial that I'm working on which will have kind of just the basics of pathfinding in Godot and also some additional bonus algorithms. Um, the video is taking a lot longer than I anticipated though. So instead of being released this weekend, it'll probably be maybe early next week, but that will be out for you guys really soon. So you can look forward to that. But anyways, thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.